friends, we are in Edinburgh again. It's a really nice summery day and when it's this warm it's super nice to just have like a nice light healthy breakfast or lunch and today we're gonna tell you exactly where to do that. All of these places we're gonna go to today are vegetarian with a lot of vegan options as well. One of them I think is purely vegan and that one is super new and exciting so I'm looking forward to go there. Mm, let's go! This behind me is one of three or maybe even four Hendersons here in Edinburgh. It's one of the older vegetarian establishments. This one is, I think, the newest one they have. Uh, there's also two or three in the center. Uh, this one is more of like a breakfast lunch place. If you go to the center, to the new town, there's two of them. One of them is strictly vegan, one of them is vegetarian and vegan, and both are open until I think about nine or 10 in the evening. This one closes, I believe, at 5, so again, it's more of a morning place, but it opens pretty early. So I think that my recommendation is, if you're here to take a hike in the Holyrood Park, either get like an energy boost in the morning before you do it, or afterwards. Uh, when I was here last time with my sister, I had a great spinach sort of pie, that's sort of like a Greek style spanakopita, with some sweet potato fries, and they were delicious. like a year and a half ago and now they just look super awesome they're kind of like the millennials dream they do the whole avocado toast and acai bowl thing their acai bowl used to have bee pollen on it so it wasn't technically vegan but now they took it away and i think they put something else on it like goji berries or something so now it's totally vegan uh, they also do vegan lunches. They have this thing called the Rainbow Bowl, which is different every day. It's like a, it tends to be either like a curry sort of meal, you know, it's just like veggie heavy bowl of savory goodness. I really recommend their raw cakes. They're made with cashew cream, I believe, and they're super delicious. They're not too sweet at all. We tried the hazelnut chocolate one, and we also tried some chia pots, which were also really good and not too sweet at all. Another one 
near Tolkos, near uh, the meadows. So depending on where you stay, they're both kind of the same size. Uh, they have a great selection of things for like cooking things yourself. They have some you know, fresh produce. They have a lot of teas and like seeds and nut butters. They have so many kinds of nut butters. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, they also have like manager specials. So sometimes you get to buy some things really cheaply. Also, they are open till quite late. I believe until eight or even nine during normal work days. So you can totally get here instead of going to a normal supermarket. We're back home now. I changed into something more comfy. Uh, I have one last tip for you guys and that is that if you ever anywhere, be it in one of the places we visited today or at like a farmer's market, see one of the Graham's cakes. You should definitely give it a try. This bit, it's quite, it's quite big. It was about three pounds. I found it in Real Foods uh, where they tend to stock like one or two kinds. Uh, Grams kind of started making these like raw, healthier versions of, you know, your typical mainstream chocolate bar. So like this one is the Snickers bar and it contains dates, peanuts, peanut butter, some cacao, coconut oil, some brown rice syrup, some maple syrup and a bit of salt. So it's not really like a... It's not like a diety thing, you know, it has sugar in it. It's uh, it's definitely not low carb. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty sweet. I never tried this one. Maybe I'm gonna have a tiny bite. Mm. 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 You know what? The flavor is like unroasted peanut. If you ever had a pet rodent, Okay, I had a pet rat when I was little and I would always get him this like mix of rat food and it would also have this must be gross, sorry <laughs> the rat food always always had like little unroasted peanuts and they do have this like almost like seedy taste to them they taste a bit different than normal peanuts and that's what this tastes like there's a couple more healthy slash vegetarian slash vegan places here in Edinburgh and if you were really interested in hearing more about them, let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to make another video if it's helpful for you guys. Until then, I will probably just be doodling stuff on this channel. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye guys.